that time of the year again, where um, I take the opportunity just to share with you where we are as a business and where we're going, and maybe just to give a few messages, so concentrate. Uh, we've just finished our half year results, and um, <clears throat> again, I would like to just thank each and every one of you for, for great work. Um, despite the tough market conditions that we are all operate in right now, uh, bites once again for the first six months of this year, compared to the first six months of last year, made uh, lots of profit, lots of cash, and the revenue grew slightly despite the conditions that we that we're operating in. In the UK in particular, in Byte Secure Transaction Solutions and Byte People Solutions, we had some magnificent results. So to those um, organizations I want to make a, a special thank you. But I also want to especially thank those that are finding it rather tough right now. Um, I know how difficult it is and, and you, you know we must just stay focused. So <clears throat> with that in mind, we have another six months to go and I think we have to sort of just remind ourselves what we have to do uh, when we are faced in times like this. And, and I think the first one I mess, sort of message I want to talk to you about is integrity. And you know, we have different sort of definitions of that fancy word, but for me, integrity is doing things that you promise to do, that are good that are honest. So keeping your promise to the customer, I think is, is, is number one. And you know, Bytes has, has become known and we've built our business on integrity. In fact, I'd like to believe that we are probably um, one of the best businesses when it comes to integrity. The strategic implementations that, you know, we set out to do, we make the business plans at the, end, at the beginning of the year, we, we budget to do these things. We set goals, we set objectives. Again, you know, my advice to you, and I've spoken to you about personal goals and objectives as well, revisit them, work towards those, and I think you'll achieve more. You know, remember we're a business, and the, 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 the security of working here is based on our results. So everything you do, everything that we do together, should have the customer in mind, and we should be business-minded to round profit, to round collecting cash. The customer comes first, the customer comes second, the customer comes third. The customer is everything. And I think remind yourself and your colleagues who are around you, <clears throat> never to forget that. Without the customers, we have nothing. We don't have jobs, man. I think there must be commercial savvy. The temptation to put in proposals to do bids that are not profitable is always there in tough times. The fear of losing, and we tend to then want to give things away in an uncommercial way. Think about it before you do it. Maybe sometimes strategically you have to do those things and invest in an account, but in the long run, wrong thing. And then the people around you, try and make parts a happy place to work, a fulfilling place to work. I have every confidence that the results that we've delivered so far this year, which are great results again, the results before that is because of the leadership and the great people we have in this company. We are a business of great people and if we want to be great, each and every one of us have to be great. So with that, I'd just like to end off and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Look after our customers, look after yourselves and let's have a great second half. Thank you very much.